Hello, and welcome to the Sheep's Garden. I'm Elizabeth. Um, I'm here in my yarn store, and I thought I would check in and say hello and show you what I've been working on and what's been happening. Um, the most recent thing that's been going on in my life is my daughter graduated from high school, uh, and so we had all the ceremonies and parties and things for like that. Um, unfortunately, in the weeks leading up to it, um, because the mask wearing laws had been dropped here in Chile, we no longer have to use masks, uh, it seemed like a lot of the kids were getting colds at the schools and a lot of um, viruses going around. And in the weeks leading up to the preparations for graduation, a lot of her classmates were sick with colds. And she got sick, and then I got sick. And because I work in, with the public, I thought, mm, maybe I should do a COVID test, even though I didn't think it would be COVID because everyone's got colds at the moment and everyone's talking about colds because uh, we're going into our spring. And it came back positive. So I was very surprised. And But of course, our whole family got it, both my daughters and my husband, all on kind of across different days through the week. The quarantine is five days now. So we stayed home for that, but it meant the, the graduation ceremonies and things were a, a bit harder because we had to wear our masks and had to wait for our quarantine to finish before we could go and all of that. So luckily we managed to get in on everything. Um, I've still got a bit of a, a sore chest on it. I'm still a bit, a bit uh, grouchy. And the, the strange thing was we all had different symptoms as well. Some of us had fever, some headaches, some sore throat. We all seemed to lose our sense of smell, which made eating hard. But um, luckily, we didn't get it too bad. It wasn't that bad. But after two and a half years of not having COVID, it seemed strange to finally get it. But um, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. So I have been continuing on my knitting, and I've been enjoying the stranded knitting that I was knitting before. Um, I've done some some hats with chunky wool, just you know, something that I could knit up fairly quick, you know, using the 100% natural wool from the south. And so I've been enjoying that. I did some other ones. I bought the Tin Can Knits book, which I really enjoyed because that gives lots of instructions on how to, to do stranded work. So I've been enjoying that. And I also have a new yarn in the store. And I thought I'd show you this. Now this is Merino from the south of Chile, 100% Chilean, by a company called Bagual. And the thing is, in Chile, there is lots of merino wool. We even have some merino wool close to us here in, uh, in the fourth region. One of my very first videos on my YouTube channel is shearing, watching some shearing of that. But almost all of it goes exclusively, exclusively to export. So not many of the merino wool actually stays in Chile. And the company that, that started to develop this wool realized part of the reason is because there are no uh, mills that can process such fine wools. All of the mills that we do have in Chile are for processing more this kind of wool, the more rustic and thicker, heavier wools that aren't as fine. So they actually, in the end, went to an alpaca farm to have their, the wool processed. So this wool is Chilean merinos, processed in Chile, and then they hand dyed, it's a couple, and they hand dyed the, the wool after. So we have all these beautiful colors. They have a huge range of colors that you, know, you, can, you can choose from. I just got a, you know, a kind of small selection of the, and the white, the white is just amazing. I'm going to try experimenting dyeing with the white, but the white is, is amazing. So, that is really quite amazing. And like I said, that's Magual, yes. And I think they're going to try and sell in the outside of Chile as well. But for now, that's them. And because I wanted to see what it was like to knit with this wool, to see how the quality was, I started knitting a pattern by Mr. Wool, who is a Chilean designer and his Felipe Silpulveda, I'm not going to say his name very well, and I'm doing the Ariane, Ariane pattern, which is a neck warmer, which is a free download on Ravelry. You can get this on Ravelry. And so I decided I would try, since I was enjoying the stranded work I was working on, 
I thought I'd try something a bit more difficult. So this is how I'm doing so far. You can kind of see that. And this wool is amazing. I've never knit with merino, and it's just so soft, <laughs> so soft and amazing. And I think I think it's just turning out lovely. Um, it's it's slow going for me because each line is different and you have to kind of concentrate in each line as you go. I think I did actually more stitches and than what the pattern says, but it does fit and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Loving it. So that's what I've been working on. I also have some other projects that I'm doing just as quick, easy knits. I have some yarn that I've had. Actually, I have some right here. Long, about two years ago when I first opened the store, um, I had this yarn, Amber Tierra, which was very popular and sold really well. And then during the pandemic, they just didn't have any more. So I got some more in now. They finally have it back in stock. So I've got some now. And I actually had uh, some, a project I was working on two years ago, which I never finished. So I frogged it and I'm experimenting and trying new things with that. But it's actually a color that they don't have anymore. But this is some of the some of their colors. But this is an acrylic, an acrylic yarn, but very easy to knit with and very forgiving and very easy. So that's one of the, the new yarns. And I also have some new Katia yarns. Um, but as a shop owner, um, I'm finding some of the price increases that have happened in the past, uh, this past year or, or this past six months are really hard. And I can see that there's a lot of um, a lot of other yarn stores have actually closed um, here in Chile. I mean, small ones, the, the big ones, they, they can, I think they can ride it through, but the smaller ones, I've seen quite a few close, you know, some of them that open the same time as me. And I know, like looking at some of the, the Katia yarns that I got from Spain recently, um, it, it looks like I'm, I won't make any money off them, you know, the prices, but the way the price is and how much it costs to bring it in. So I probably won't be buying much more yarn from, from outside Chile. And I know there's a lot of other companies, yarn stores, that are thinking the same thing, that we, it's just getting too expensive to bring yarn in from outside. We need to be focusing more on local yarns, which is you know, another reason why I really like the Bagual, porque you know, this is you know, uh, Chilean yarn. And there's a couple other companies that are starting to you know, make environmentally friendly and local yarns. I also want to get back to my hand spinning and do more spinning. Um, so I've, I've kind of been thinking of shifting and changing a bit more, trying to see if I can actually do more things with my own hand spun yarn. So I'll be posting some videos soon about some of the more creative things I'm going to be doing with that. So that's where I am. Um, coming into summer, it's always the yarn stores don't seem to do as well in the summer. Um, but I'm maybe thinking about trying to do some classes and to see where I'm going to go forward in the next few months. Um, everything's changing now because my daughter's no longer at school. I mean, she'll be finishing the last of her tests and exams for university in, you know, through December. So after December going into January, February, which is our summer here, um, I'll have um, all sorts of changes. I mean, I can change my hours, most of my hours of my store being open depending on when I had to pick her up and things like that. So now I'm going to be more free to do the things the way I want to do them. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see if, if it changing in the hours makes a difference in, in people visiting the store. So that's it for now. And hopefully I will be doing another video soon showing some of the yarns I've been spinning. And I hope everyone is staying safe, even though with the you know COVID isn't as bad as what it was two, three years ago. but you know, we still have to be careful. So hope everyone is doing fine. Ciao.